Welcome to the Elder Abyss Show. For talking videos, it's the place to go. Game tips, rants, tactics, and more. What you'll find here, you can never be sure. Hey guys, welcome to the show. In this episode, i got a little special treat for you. I'm joined by some of the crew, and we're going to do a little bit of round robin type of round table deal. Talking a little bit of Gears 3. So, just talking about what we're looking forward to, what we hope they, uh, what they hope they fix from what we experienced in the beta. Uh, some of the things there we're looking uh, forward to as far as multiplayer and campaign, and some of the things we hope they didn't screw up. So we're going to try to touch on a little bit of everything, but first off, I'm going to give you a chance to introduce the crew here. Uh, don't have any particular order, so I'm just going to go around the way they're listed in my Skype call. So I've got Darth Mucci and Maps over here. You want to say hey, guys? Hey. What's up, son? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Followed by G Jr. What it is, yo. <laughs> and I rule. How's it going? And we've also got Ultra Magnus and Albino Black Girl over here. Hey. Hello. Nice. So I just wanted to uh, to get some of these guys together because for the most part, I'm pretty sure I'm safe in saying that we're all hardcore Gears players, mm-hmm. and we've been with the franchise for a long time, well, since the beginning. And Gears 3, I dare to say, promises to be, finally, maybe the Gears that we've always wanted. So I wanted to bounce some of the ideas off the, of the guys here, and gals, but I'm, I refer to everyone as guys, even though there are ladies among us. <laughs> um uh, so just just to get started here for a general feel, this is just a ballpark question. What are you looking forward to most in Gears of War 3 multiplayer? What is what is like the number one bell ringer for you? Mooch. Online servers. Servers. I knew those dedicated <laughs> servers were going to be huge. That is like the holy friggin' grail for Gears right there. What about maps? Online servers. Oh, absolutely. Well, let's just throw it out there. Who is not completely freaking stoked for online servers? Anybody? Shit. Huh. I'm ready, man. <laughs> online servers. Way to go. Consistent gameplay. Amen. Amen. I don't, uh, I, I'm really, I don't know. I mean, although I have a little bit of feel from gear, from the beta because we did get to experience it some there. But I don't know how I'm going to feel on a day-in, day-out basis where my shots actually land. Right? That's a novel idea. <laughs> that might cut down on a little bit of the pleasure quitting. Oh, yes. Pleasure quitting uh, by us, maybe. I think it would help my bottom line. I'm not breaking the wireless controllers anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what are you up to now? Like four? Uh, yeah, if you include the controller that Moochie and Meps loan me. Nice. <laughs> you got the insurance program, so you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I pay the extra monthly insurance. That's yeah. what we need need for that. <laughs> Fifty dollars deductible. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I didn't hear anything from Magnus over there. What, what's up, man? I'm all about the servers too, man. Service. I hate to beat this dead horse, but I mean that's 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 it, man. That's the cream of the crop there. Right on, dude. I was so overwhelmed the the first day that I heard they was going to do that that it was just like, ah, finally, right? And and I know I've said this to you guys, but as bad as Gears Two was for the the online. And as long as we suffered with it, I'm kind of glad that it was so bad because, honestly, I think that's what... There's you no know, you can go but up. Yeah, it, well, that, and I think that was, you know, kind of the, the wagon that made them decide, hey, we, if we don't do servers, we're, we're done. We're oh, yeah, done. dead in the water. So, 
I try to look at, you know, the glass half full. So maybe we suffered for a reason. <laughs> yeah, that looks to be worth it. I think Epic's going to be the first company that can ever polish a turd. <laughs> oh, it's out there. It's out there. <laughs> you got to have a real smooth cloth to do that. <laughs> Hey, in the words of a fellow gamer of ours, after Title Update 7, that game really came into its own. Yeah. Yeah. Right? It only took 7, wasn't it? Or was it 11? I lost count. I think after 57, it was definitely bigger, badder, and more badass. Yeah. I, I love how they, they, uh, they kind of withheld the little stupid catchphrases. No this catchphrases time. this time uh, around. Yeah, you know, year three. Go ahead and try it out. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> for this one, is third time's a charm. Yeah, well, that's what I'm hoping, man. I really am. They're like yeah. years three now with ten percent more value. <laughs> I want to believe that this is going to be a good game, man. But until it happens, I'm I'm not going to believe it till I see it, and it's in my hands, you know. Oh, definitely, man. That's the thing. That's the thing. It's it's one of those games that I want to be really just perfect, and that was my problem with Gears Two. That's the reason Gears Two made me so damn mad because I wanted that game to be so much, and it was what it was. Yeah. Well, I mean, we played Gears so much. And we played it basically all private. It, with, I mean, some of us did play ranked, but most of the time we played private. So we kind of got used to having our own server, I guess, for lack of a better term, where the same couple people would host, and we just went with it. And then we thought it was going to be so much better in this game. But in, in Gears 2, it just seemed like, I mean, we couldn't even play a private match with each other because we were always getting mad about who was host. You know what I mean? Like, we never did that in the first game. It just didn't yeah. seem like it was that big of a deal. Yeah, no doubt. Not not like it was in two. You're right, man. Two had a little special something something. I'm not sure what it was. Were, were just, uh, they were just made bigger in Gears Two. It seemed like to me, you know, with the host. Uh, yeah, the that? inconsistency level really is what where it is. Yeah. Right. So now, so we're hitting on that a little bit. I wanted to bounce this off of you guys. What do you think about the new game modes, particularly Team Deathmatch? I'm a big fan of the deathmatch. That was that was uh that was a good uh good change of pace from just playing execution all the time. I I loved it, man. I just the only thing I didn't care for was that, you know, you had people spawning behind you. You'd be on a roll and then all of a sudden this guy comes up behind you cuz he just spawned 10 feet behind you and I I think that regular normal execution has a lot more tactics to it. Like it's a lot harder for somebody to get around you. Yeah, it does, and I think a lot of that was from their execution mindset, it influenced their map design a whole lot. And that's the reason, like, those maps we've seen in the beta were particularly bad for spawn camping and stuff, because they were built for execution. Yeah, if you go in there with random people in a death match, I feel sorry for you if, if you're playing against a team of good players because you're going to get spawn trapped pretty easy. I mean, we saw that happen in the uh, in the demo. Yeah. Now, the good thing is they went back and readdressed some of those maps. What I'm kind of wondering is if they took that mentality and went back and, and revisited every map. I know they revisited Trenches and Thrash Ball, ball for that very reason, but I'm kind of curious if they took that mentality and, and pulled all the maps back in and said, well, we need to rethink this to make sure this won't happen. They never said whether or not they did that. Just address that in Title Update 2. <laughs> yeah, five. Title Update 2. That's Map Update 1. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wanting to see if uh, Execution will dial down the use of the uh, sawed-off shotgun. That way it won't be going in and taking a chance of dying because you only get one life. So, you know, deathmatch, you keep respawning. Of course you're going to keep using the sawed-off. So I want to see what that does with the people that love using the sh- uh, sawed-off. Especially if that hammer burst is still just like it was in the beta. Right. Yeah, me and Junior, we got lucky. We played that game. Uh, the beta when it first came out, and uh, I don't know about you, Junior, but that, that was the best that it felt was like those what, five or six hours that we played it right there. I've never seen Matt so excited about playing Gears of War than the first three <laughs> hours of the beta. Yeah, it was amazing. I felt like I could actually shoot people again. I was like, wow, I can't aim in Gears. I, I remember that because I just got on that evening, 
and Meps was in there playing with me, and that was all. I, well, the first thing I heard was, "Yeah, what do you think when my bullets would go where they're supposed to, bitch?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that pressure of Lancer, I don't know if they're going to, you know, tone it down or whatever, but that first couple of days, I mean, it didn't matter if somebody had a sawed off or if somebody was just trying to run at you with a shotgun. I mean, if you got bullets on them with that retro or the hammer burst, they were down. It felt yeah. good. You know, it felt fun again. I like the retro, man. They did do a little bit of tweaking to it. What they've done is they added more recoil to the hip. So that, that, that's how I tweaked that. that. No, that's Thank good. I mean, they ought to make those kind of guns a little bit harder to use, you know? Yeah, I'm for that. I'm off that gun. And I thought gun beast was big. I don't know that was big of that one. So, speaking of the sawed off, since Junior brought it up, hey, that, that was, was a good I'm point to see that execution actually works out that way. You had a, you had a point a good there. But they did change. They did sawed off, off the soft a little bit. A little bit but they, and they add misses of text, text, the entry to that's got, that's got on it, like it's on it. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, just, what a change, change they changed the, uh, the how, how, like, if you health full and shot, shot someone at you, and you were just sized out the upper range, it would down you, and you no longer, no longer does longer do that. All right. That'd be nice. Yeah. They, they, that's, they, that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, they didn't code a change. They firmed that, that. So, so, I mean, so those checking if changes, what do you think of saw about this? I mean, a lot of people, because they're calling for come changes, changes, serious, serious change. That's just a map pickup. That was one of them. That one of them. I had them. I would vote. It was right. all for me. Yep. Pickup. But yeah. those change changes, do you think that that's enough to kind of kind of back gun gun out? I think I think towards the end though, I think everybody kind of got used to the sawed off and knew what to expect with it and knew how to compensate with the retro and the hammer burst. So I think after a few weeks of playing, I think you know once everybody gets their tactics down, I think the sawed off will probably go to the wayside. The people that really don't. They just want the easy kills. That's what they're going to use the salt off. But if they're really in it to get some points, I, I just I think they'll they'll use something else besides the salt off. Yeah, for me, I'm, I'm with Junior. I think it's going to be that same way. I think a lot of it's going to be if, if the servers are working and everybody's guns are working the way they way they were those first couple of days that I was talking about earlier. I, I would think the salt off is going to be as big of a problem. But if it goes back to like um, a host based player to player connection turns out to be, you know, for that, for whatever reason, the sawed off is going to be extremely frustrating, I think. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Oh, man. Anybody any got, got soft thoughts? I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> I hate it. Well, no. No, but, no, go ahead but, and just remove it from the game. I'd be okay right. with that. I think I'll have everybody no, in here. Probably... Me and Rod Ferguson, they'll probably make the reticle even bigger instead of shooting... <laughs> Car bus shooting, shooting yeah. trucks out, you it's, know. It's, it's, it's there, huh? I'm there. Degrees, degrees now. <laughs> like the whole screen's a sawed-off shotgun. <laughs> I still love their excuse that they had for the sawed-off is for the people that does don't have the finger movement. They use the Nasher. I'm like, really? Come on now. What kind what of excuse that? Mean? that? Right. Because <laughs> Rod Ferguson can't get his Twinkie figure moving around too fast. <laughs> <laughs> in, case, in case y'all can't, okay, it's a bit, it's a bit tell a fan, fan, a big of the share of beer. <laughs> hey, if he's listening, he can send us some free swag, and maybe we'll like, you know, we'll yeah. take it all yeah. back. Just, just swag, we need swag. Already said this game runs perfect. I'm gonna send him a box, a bottle, or a box wine, a nice fine selection of box wine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice. Because <laughs> in the end, you've all already been told. We're all just gamers. <laughs> <laughs>